Now, when we are asked to round a number to certain significant digits, this is the method that we are going to use. We will always convert the number first to the scientific notation and then uh, we will do the rounding. So, with this information, let us get started. So, this is these are the several numbers and we are going to round them off one by one to the number of significant digits that have been specified in the second column. So, the first number we will first convert it into scientific notation and it comes like this okay and then we proceed with the rounding so we want only three significant figures here so we want only these three so our final answer will be okay and because this is this is a one there is no need to do anything else we can simply do the truncation and our answer will be 10 okay and at this point you can leave the result as is or you can convert so okay so this result in the scientific notation is very valid so you can keep it as is okay no need to convert it here or if you want you can convert it if you want to do further calculations on it for example okay now the next one is already given in a very nice scientific uh, fashion only so into 10 raised to power 0 for the sake of completeness we'll just write it like this because uh, i have to explain things i just have to make sure that uh, students do not get confused so i want to keep only the first two digits now because this is e1 and this is a 5 right so this is a 5 then the first digit that we are throwing off is a 5 and the first digit we are keeping the last digit that we are keeping is actually e1 i don't really have to do anything so my answer becomes 2.2 .2 into 10 raised to power 0 the next one we will write it like this 3.999 into 10 raised to power 1 and we want to keep three significant figures this number the first digit that we are thro throwing is a 9 so i increment uh, this this one this 9 to a 10 and there is a carryover and then there is a carryover again so my answer becomes 4.00 into 10 raised to power 1 so notice when we are doing the rounding in the exponential notation i can clearly see that after rounding has happened how many significant digits i have so in each case i have i have the correct number of significant digits it's very easy to see that just by looking the number of digits in the scientific notation after rounding has happened so we can just look at the number of digits here all the digits in the scientific notation are the significant digits only otherwise they wouldn't be there okay so let's look at this example here what we'll do we'll just write it as 8.538 into 10 raised to power so because we have moved the decimal point one two three four digits four so we'll keep four here and i want to round it off to three digits three significant digits so i want to only keep it these three digits so i look at the first digit i'm throwing off because it's a eight this one this digit is a eight so what i need to do i need to increment this one so this becomes 8.54 into 10 raised to power 4 notice that i have three digits here which is the three significant digits that that i needed after rounding has happened now in this example this is the kind of example this technique would really shine it would just come off so naturally you'll realize okay so what i need to do is i will have to convert it into scientific notation which i can quickly do this and then i'll write 10 raised to power so i move the decimal point one and two places so minus two and this okay no need to worry about leading zero trailing zero nothing no need to worry we have it in scientific notation all i need to do like all the other cases i have done i need to keep the three significant digits because there is a seven here i will increment this nine when this nine increments there is a carry so this becomes 4.60 into 10 raised to power minus two very very simply we were able to find the answer and this is our preferred technique we will always convert the number to the scientific notation on the scientific notation we will do the rounding and then leave the result as is in scientific notation itself okay there is no need to convert back if you want to convert back you can do that also but why waste time okay hopefully this thing is very clear if you have doubts put in the comment section below many more practice problems are given on doorstepdoctor.com so definitely practice that is the only way you will score very nicely in all kinds of competitive exams thank you